Hey, so um, we've talked about this quite a few times already, but uh, I can I still see people asking this question both in Discord and in game chat. Like so literally, somebody just uh, in in game chat just asked if um, or what did they say? He said Thor in Nine Piece Slayer. I think yes. And this entire chat chat or English too has been they've been talking about uh, putting Thor in a nine piece uh, nine piece slayer set and i'm letting you guys know uh, in case you missed it or or you just don't know it's totally fine if you don't know but uh, a nine piece piece slayer set <laughs> i keep saying please slayer set is not going to work on thor okay so if you fused thor a lot of you guys might look at his a2 and think this aoe attacks all enemies and honestly it's not even your guys' fault it, it's really not it's the way that it's worded by Polarium, so I don't blame you guys. Uh, this was one of the main questions that a lot of people asked whenever uh, Thor was first announced and we were looking at his kit. Very common question. I can totally see this being a very common question today and into the future, but this does not operate as an AoE. His A2 is coded as a single hit, a multi-single hit, very much akin to Mashaled, where his A1 attacks enemies under leech but it doesn't say it here it just it just shows attacks one enemy and then attacks everybody else so a great hydra champion but back to thor yeah for those who don't know the slayer set in question at four pieces will fill the champion's turn meter by five percent per the first hit on each enemy from aoe attacks aoe also ignores 30 percent of enemy defense when using an aoe and a 30 percent chance to deal additional aoe damage based on damage dealt by aoe so this is totally understandable why people think slayer would go great on thor whose kit reads aoe but just know that this been that it's been verified we've asked in the content creator discord and uh, ccs have tested it out yeah this does not register it's not coded as an aoe it's coded as a multi-single hitter and then I found another post a week ago asking if the Slayer set works with Thor's A2 and how many chickens also even said it does not. So save your Slayer gear. Other options would be Merciless. Merciless is also a great set. Um, excellent debate says it's single target and his saving grace or he would be pretty mid. Apparently uh, this would be pretty mid if, he was, if it was an AoE. I wonder what he means by that. Slayer set doesn't work on him. Just to double check. It does not work on Trenda. Uh, Trunda's, that's a good question. I don't think her A2 counts as an AoE. I think her A3 counts as an AoE. And we, we can actually verify that real quick. So Trunda's, yeah, her A2 does not count as an AoE. I think, right? Attacks one enemy, then attacks all other enemies. It's kind of iffy. Uh, this would be a good question for a CC, or maybe I should ask the community managers at discord on discord about this question but i'm pretty sure this does count as an aoe because it just looks like an aoe on top of that so you're probably wondering where do you get a slayer set you get it from the forge pass and if you can't do the forge pass then you're kind of sol and you're not going to be able to get good slayer gear i mean like they have the free stuff but i mean if you do the basic forge pass you're not going to end up with much like i haven't bought the slayer set slayer forge pass so i obviously don't have any but uh, i do think it's it's a really good set i think the forge pass is worth it okay so you might be wondering if you don't have slayer what is going to be a good option the next best thing is probably going to be merciless because you get an increase to attack crit damage speed a chance to set one of your skills on cooldown whenever you deal damage so it's like a built-in reflex into this set more attack 35% ignore defense, which is like the most from a set that you can get on a six piece. That's pretty good, right? Because Savage and Instinct or Savage and Lethal are 25% ignore. Instinct is 20. If you have a three piece set Cruel, three sets of Cruel on, that's only 15. So yeah, this is the best. And then you get more speed, more crit damage, and then 15% chance of getting an extra turn, which is like a mini Relentless set. I think Relentless is 18% or did they nerf... I think they nerfed Relentless a while back. 18%. Yeah, so like a mini version of Relentless. So if you can get Merc gear, where do you get Merc gear? You get it from Centranos. So it's not going to be... Like, 
normal is going to be relatively easy to do, I think. So there's that. But like I said, you could also do Instinct, which is another Forge Pass pay to win set. If you have Instinct gear, you get an extra boost to speed, 20% ignore defense, enemy defense, really good for live arena. Um, where you need to go fast or just the, the higher tiers of PvP, but that's probably not going to be viable for you. So another thing that you could do is Cruel. Cruel gives you extra attack, 5% of enemy defense, uh, but that stacks to 15% of, of ignore. And then you can also do the next best thing. Cruel is definitely going to be your last resort, but you could also do Savage. 25% of ignoring, and this is a little bit more so accessible. Fire Knight is not the easiest dungeon to do i think if i were to rank the dungeons it'd probably be, be something like dungeon spider fire knight and then ice golem something like that personally but if you can't do savage then there is lethal um the dark fey did just finish or is about to finish in a day or two it's a doom tower thing but whenever you do want to farm lethal and do the dark fey it's definitely a good idea to wait before doing any of your secret rooms and I actually dive into that concept in this video here so if you want to watch that and figure out why you should wait before you do your secret rooms check out this video right here here we are on my alt account I've already summoned Thor here, and this is my work in progress build for Thor. This is not the final product, right? I'm not going to get the final product for Thor until I get um, my five stars for him during the Titan event, until I fully ascend all of my gear here and rework some of them because right now I have some ascension stats that I don't really want. I also need to get books. I have to wait till, till I get books for him because I'm out of books and then masteries i'm still working on getting masteries for him as well but this is basically what we're working with right now and i'm going to do a little bit of testing to see how he does but merc gear we're getting the 35 percent ignore here are the specific pieces of gear with merciless in case you're wondering i would prefer to get attack for ascension because you know i want to do more damage focusing on attack damage 100 percent crit rate speed right i built him out straight as a nuker not really caring about accuracy because i'm just not intending to use him as a support champion i feel like he just does better as a nuker um, for me you might have a different case uh, i can see you using him with accuracy if you're in spider because of his i think it's um this move right here the stun ability which does require accuracy so there's that uh, this is pretty cool too. You do need accuracy to decrease turn meter. That might be a thing, but I think that's about it. And then decrease speed, which does have applications, but uh, I'm just building him out in straight damage because that's what I'm prioritizing. Here are the stats in case you're wondering. We have pretty standard for all of my nukers, a minimum of 40k HP, 5k attack, the main thing, 5k attack, 100% crit rate, a minimum of 250 crit damage, if you can't get those numbers, just know that the priority stats are attack, 100% crit rate, and as much crit damage as you can get. Speed is going to be second priority because you want him to go fast because if your nukers aren't moving fast enough, they're not going to be taking any hits. He has a very low base defense, 980. So we're struggling on the defense here. Ideally, I would have a minimum of 3,000. This is with a chest. This is with a merc chest with defense percent on it. So... You know, something's got to give there because uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to make this. This guy seems like he's going to die if, if he gets smacked by anything. But we're going to we're going to test it out a little bit and we're going to see um, how this goes. But yeah, we have high resist just because I have resist. Oh, I didn't show you guys the accessories. Attack on the ring. Crit damage with crit damage. Did I? Attack on attack. No Titan. But we have res here. I'm going to change this out. And then when I do get the masteries, I'll be going down this route here, um, taking down, bring it down, uh, methodical, and then probably kill streak all the way to Helm Smasher, and then some counterattack masteries over here, taking improved parry, some uh, survivability here as well. That's the plan when I get there. But for now, th this is what we're working with, and I wanted to do a little bit of testing. So I'm not going to dive into everything, but we are going to see a little bit like. Uh, I've done a few runs with him in the Minotaur, so I guess I can show you how he performs in Minotaur. Like, he's hitting pretty hard, 
he looks pretty cool uh he, he, his moves just are pretty awesome right not my hardest nuker but it's still pretty good i still think he's doing very well he's not hitting at the rotus level or the trunda level even or the taurus level but we're you know it's understandable because no blessings uh, i just threw loki in here just because loki and thor together i don't know what loki does but we have increased attack here so you know we'll do that maybe something good will happen i don't know let's place the decrease defense and the weaken and which of his moves does i think it's the, his a2 does it hit all enemies let me see oh it does hit all enemies but it doesn't proc or it doesn't it's not coded like that but i, I can definitely see it looks like it would for sure let's see that sky rupture oh i guess he would do his a3 first thor thor would do his a3 first and then move into his a2 Yeah, he's definitely doing some work, like hitting for three, almost 400k. But yeah, this is this is taking way too long. Uh, you're better off just using like four cold hearts. And then I just wanted to go ahead and see what kind of damage he's doing right now with without being maxed out in Hydra. We're on normal Hydra right now. All right, so we should start off with this, right? So 40, this, that did not look like it did anything. It did not do anything at all. All right, so I think the way that his A2 works is you pick one enemy, then every hit after that, it'll be random, but the damage is going to increase by 25%. So hopefully we hit this head, la head last, and it doesn't have decreased defense, so I mean, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so uh, I'm going to end it right around here just to kind of see what the the damage is and compare his damage to Acrisia's. Interestingly enough, Thor outdid Acrisia's? Did he get credit for Gaelic's hexes? Because Supreme Gaelic is in hex. Ooh.